And welcome back, folks. Well, after the events of two weeks ago with the incendiary devices that were sent to the governor's office and to the Secretary of Transportation, we thought it would be fitting to bring to you today a very special guest to the show, Corporal Brian Flagg from the Anne Arundel County Police Department. Thanks for having me, sir. Corporal Flagg, thanks for joining us and thanks for bringing a couple of your friends along. Yes, sir. Now, we understand that, uh, you know, the Anne Arundel County Police played a very significant role in the events that happened two weeks ago at the uh, at the state house and then along with the department of transportation um, tell us a little bit about the unit that we have i understand we have thirteen uh... police officers canine police officers yes, sir. that uh... work for Anne Arundel county police department tell us a little bit about the history of the unit the, the Anne Arundel county police department initiated its canine program in nineteen sixty four with one canine and it operated out of the millersville complex and covered the entire county um, the, ca the canine unit grew over the years and in two thousand seven the, uh, the department decided to open up a new canine um, tra training facility located over off the Grover Road complex. State-of-the-art um, indoor-outdoor kennels, training areas for the dogs to work in all aspects, in all facets of their job. And in 2008, that was dedicated um, by Chief Tier. So we operate out of that facility now. We currently have 13 police canines that serve the county, 10 of which are utility dogs. The utility dogs do multiple jobs. They locate offenders or and they also locate bombs or explosives. I'm sorry, explosives or narcotics. There you go. Um, we also have three specialty dogs. One is an um, explosives only, one is a narcotics only, and Sasha is our missing person dog. And we understand you've recently received an international certification? I, was, uh, I received accreditation as a trainer with the International Police Work Dog Association. I started working with police canines in the Army in 1989. Um, down at Lackland Air Force Base, and when I became a police officer, I was interested in becoming a canine handler. Um, in 1998, I was assigned as a um, as a SWAT officer, and mm -hmm. one of my jobs was a explosive dog handler. Um, once that dog retired, I laterally transferred within the division to the canine unit, and I've been working several dogs since that time. Um, well, talking about working dogs, um, the, the dog you have here, Sasha. Sasha, hi. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. You like being on camera? She's doing pretty yeah. well right now. She's she doing great. She's very well behaved. Uh, Sasha deals with rescues and missing persons and yes, adults. Sir. And uh, you also have another dog, and we'll get to Sasha. We'll talk a little bit about Sasha in a minute. But uh, Cito, a uh, two-year-old German or a Belgian Malinois. Actually, Cito's a German Shepherd oh, from Cito's Slovakia. German Shepherd. Okay. Yes, sir. So he speaks a different language than us. Um, but he handles your uh, your explosive devices. Yes, sir. And uh, I understand he was used two weeks ago. Yes, sir. Um, several of our officers were called in to assist um, with the incidents that occurred a couple weeks ago. We were assigned to the districts, and the dogs went in to sniff some of the mail rooms and assist the other agencies with calls for service within the county. Yeah, and luckily, we found nothing in any of our mail rooms. We or didn't detect anything, any sir. Agencies. But from time to time, uh, they do. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about a time when one of these dogs have actually uncovered some explosive devices? Within the county, we haven't discovered any explosive devices, but we have discovered weapons that have been fired that have been used in crimes. Mm -hmm. um, those dogs have gone out to assist after uh, while the investigation is, is ongoing and located weapons that have been, uh, been, been tossed from uh, offenders. Mm -hmm. Very good. And we know that um, Sasha and, well, we know Sito is from Slovakia, but we hear that some of your dogs are rescues as well from animal control. Yes, ma'am. And since I've been in the unit, I know there's been almost seven dogs that we've rescued from animal control. Currently, we have um, an explosives detection dog, who is canine Chesney, who is a rescue from animal control. Um, canine Cyrus, who is one of our um, narcotics detection dogs, he's uh, from animal control. And then we've had patrol dogs um, over the years, um, other explosive dogs. Almost all of our specialty dogs are adopted from, from some rescue or from an uh, animal control agency. And I got to ask this, Corporal Flagg, <clears throat> I hear all the stories about canine handlers and the dogs kind of become part of the family. Yes, sir. Now, at Anne Arundel County Police, do you also take these dogs home, and are they part of your family as well? They, as much as they are a part of our family, they are <laughs> law enforcement tools. They do go home with us. They are very special to us. Um, but there are rules with the family. They are um, put away when um, friends of the family come over. Mm -hmm. um, they are police canines but they are very important to us. Um, they do go home with us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. These dogs spend time with our families, and uh, it's, it's a pretty good relationship. Absolutely. Well, Corporal Flagg, thanks for joining us today on the show. Thanks for all the members of your unit for what they do on a daily basis out there, helping to fight crime, find missing people, and keep us safe here in Anne Arundel County. Thank you for having us. 
appreciate you joining us. Well, folks, you've seen it here. 13 working dogs, police officers, that help keep Anne Arundel County safe. And you got to meet two of them here today on Week in Review. So, Carla, we're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, we've got more Week in Review. Good job.